Former teen idol David Cassidy is being remembered this morning for his contributions to the music world. The Partridge Family star and Grammy nominee died yesterday at age 67. Cassidy had dementia. He was hospitalized in Florida with organ failure. Anthony Mason is here. Anthony, good morning. Good morning. David Cassidy was born in New York City and had performing in his genes. His dad won a Tony Award. And after his own brief appearance on Broadway, Cassidy moved to Los Angeles in 1969 and hitched a ride on a star. I think I love you. David Cassidy got his big break and a number one record as heartthrob Keith Partridge in the hit series, The Partridge Family. Hey, Mom, you're really great out there. Where he starred alongside his real life stepmother, Shirley Jones. But the pure magic happened in front of his adoring crowds. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, David Cassidy. His shows were described as Cassidy Mania. He was the teenage dream for teenage girls of the 1970s. What's so special about David Cassidy? He's gorgeous. If you're a girl, you just look at him and you love him. I don't know. In 1972, he posed naked for a Rolling Stone cover and inside discussed his drug use. Hey, I think I love you. All told, Cassidy sold more than 30 million records and managed to pack big venues like Madison Square Garden. In 1974, the hysteria led to tragedy, when a teenage girl died after a stampede at his London show. I write songs, I write songs. Cassidy continued to tour in recent years, but his health made performing difficult. To watch your mother disappear is very painful. He stopped in March after he shared his diagnosis of early dementia, a condition that was hereditary. Through it all, his fans never left him. I think you try and stay with your strengths, which is for me is to go out and connect and entertain and make people laugh and get them stomping and clapping and walking out with a smile on their face. Two notable tweets on the news. First from Mickey Dolenz of the Monkees, who called him a formidable talent and a really, really funny dude. And Maureen McCormick, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha of the Brady Bunch, of course, who wrote deep down, I dreamt of being a partridge. Oh, gone way too soon. Yeah, no 67. Kidding. Anthony, thank you. Mm -hmm.